This is a video I promised somebody I'd make on YouTube. This is the Fly Sky uh, T6 radio, and I'll put the uh, Free Sky uh, DHT, I believe it is, module in. And they were asking what I did to do it and how I did it. Um, I took power directly from down here where it comes in off the battery and then ground uh, back over here. I took, also took a signal wire from here. Uh, the original module was here and I just left it and put the bind uh, thing here. And I drilled the hole on the opposite side of the case. Uh, I was only going to be using telemetry but uh, I just got a receiver and something's going on with it and it's non telemetry receiver and it was supposed to work with this one and so I'm going to switch it back to uh, one way and we'll see if that works um, the plug for the SMA is down here with that panel antenna I've never lost signal with this thing before uh, till today and I think it's the it's a bad receiver or it's not it does it's not compatible with this when it's set in telemetry mode. I did take the little wire, the coax, and pulled the heat shrink away from it and put some liquid electrical tape down there and held it real still. It's also JB welded in there, so there's not going to be any twisting or anything. Um, the reason I did that is because some people were complaining about it grounding out. The signal wire somehow was grind, grounding out in there, and uh, ranges were dropping. So I went ahead and did that just, just for that reason. And that's pretty much it. So this, I think this thing can run off of up to 14 volts. So the 12 volts or 10 or so volts from the double A's uh, are pretty good. and go down, I think, 6 volts or something. But um, the batteries don't last as long now. I have to charge the uh, the eight double A's um, maybe every ten flights. But it's still not too bad.